is Faith Friday, and we're very excited to have our next guest with us. She is a biologist, an award-winning wildlife filmmaker, and now she's an author. She has just released her first book. It's called Gods in Shackles, What Elephants Can Teach Us About Empathy, Resilience, and Freedom. And she is here in studio with us to tell us all about Sangeeta Ayer. It's good to have you here. How are Thank you doing? You welcome. Welcome. I'm doing great. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. You know, you, this is your first book. I was saying congratulations there in the break. And you said it is just, you, you had an answer that was just about warmth and it being such a blessing um, yeah. for the, for even to have the book out. What did you mean by that? So elephants have always been part of my life and they are part of my blessings, you know, and they are the embodiment of Lord Ganesh, a Hindu god with an elephant head. And so there are so many things associated with elephants for me. They are divine beings. And so when I started embarking on this mission to save them and protect them, things unfolded, so many miracles happened, and that's how the book came about, that's how my movie Gods and Shackles came about, so elephants are awesome on your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you say in India that elephants, of course, are worshipped, but they're also mistreated. So, so what type of awareness are you trying to bring to the world about these animals and how we can all do better? Thank you for asking that question, because you know what, elephants, on the one hand, are revered across Asia. But on the other hand, they're desecrated. Uh, when I was in India in 2013, some of the things I witnessed was devastating. Many of them were being paraded beneath the scorching sun, deprived of food and water, shackles cutting into their flesh, blood oozing out of their bodies. And I knew I had to do something. As a videographer, I just voraciously gathered some footage, and I produced this film called Gods in Shackles. But beyond that, like, there's not a single scripture that says that you need to use elephants for rituals, right? There's not a single scripture, and God doesn't want us to treat his creations this way. So I needed to expose that. And that's the reason there's a significant lack of knowledge regarding this topic. Mm -hmm. And this is why I, you know, did all these things, creating awareness, having these conversations with you, and creating like a platform, Voice for Asian Elephant Society, VFAES.org, where people can learn and educate and empower themselves, and what can we do to support the cause? Basically, again, you know, become aware and do not participate in these festivals that exploit elephants for profit. Hey, talk about what we can learn about maybe protecting elephants. What can we learn from them? So. Elephants have a very significant role to play in the forest ecosystems. Mm. When they wander across vast areas, they trample the weeds and the softwood trees, opening up the forest floor, allowing rain and sunshine to penetrate the soil and, you know, promoting the growth of hardwood trees that sequester a lot more carbon, which is a greenhouse gas. And so elephants indirectly help us mitigate climate change. Mm. They have a huge role to play. And so this is one of the main reasons you know, I'm struggling to protect them and ensuring that people are aware that they create this magnificent web of life that we are all a part of. Yeah. And Sangeeta, uh, as we do with all of our Faith Friday guests, this is the time where we give you the floor. We ask that you give our viewers some words of wisdom, some inspiration as we head into the weekend. So the floor is yours. We are all connected and dependent on each other in this beautiful web of life. And whatever we do to the earth and these creatures, they return to haunt us. These are all God's creations. And we are also God's creations. So they are our human and non-human brothers and sisters. So we, whatever we pursue our purpose, think about how whatever we do can serve the greater good just like the elephants. Not just ourself, but how can it serve the greater good? Mine is to create awareness and empower people. And thank you for your beautiful voices for sharing. You know, this is your job, right? This is your purpose. You're serving a grand purpose. So each of us have this significant role to play. What is it that, that we can do to, you know, serve the greater good? That's what my message is. And God will really guide you as he guided me, because I was terrified of embarking on this mission. My first book and I never ever thought who would publish my book <laughs> and Hay House of all the people published because I put my faith and trust in the good Lord and God just completely guided me, my Lord Ganesh. And on this happy birthday of yours, <laughs> I have to say happy World Elephant Day to everybody and let's make a commitment that everything we do is to protect these beautiful endangered 
supremely intelligent animals. Sangeet that's a wonderful message that we all serve a purpose. We don't sometimes, sitting here in, in these seats, Robach and I, we don't often think of it the way you say it's a job, but you are still serving a purpose and having a voice. So it's a good reminder for all of us. Thank you for being here in studio with us. Thank you so Thank much you. for having me. It's such a pleasure. Thank and folks, you. I want you to know, Gods and Shackles, uh, what elephants can teach us about empathy, resilience, and freedom. You can get it wherever books are sold. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.